Welcome, you are watching TV One Pentathlon Season 2. Well, here we are again, like we promised last time before we left the program that we'll be bringing you more excitement this week as well. So as promised, we are here today as well. Me and Trishma are ready to bring you some amazing excitement as we progress to the top 16 schools in the island and we call it Level 2 in TV1 Pentathlon Season 2. Well, Trishma, how is the game going to look like today? Well, I think it's going to be very interesting because we have one school that's joining us from Martane, one school that's joining us from Candy, and it's a boy's school versus a girl's school. So I'm very eager to know how the outcome is going to turn out in this exciting episode. Well, all the time when we have a boy's school and a girl's school, the competition is very intense and tough. Well, I think either sex. That's how the things work on this stage. So we are yet to find out how very well the boys and the girls will put it up and who will be getting closer to the grand finale. Well, before we tell you more, we just gave you a hint that it's going to be a boys school and a girls school, but we need to know what the schools are. So shall we get started with getting the schools on stage? Yes, indeed. We'll start off with the boys school. We're very happy to invite on stage St. Thomas College, Matale. Well, we have the boys from Matale. Well, it's going to be a rival from the Central Hills. It's going to be the girls. Let's put our hands together for the girls from Pushpadana Girls College, Candy. Well, before we uh, get started with each and every game, it's right that we ask how the preparation has been. Because now when we say it's the top 16 schools, I'm sure both you and I and even our audience know that the level has increased and which means their sessions of practice and perfection is even higher in a better level. So let's ask from the girls and see how their preparation has been. I would like to focus uh, attention on Kitmi and ask the captain, how has it been? Um, well, we've practiced quite well and we hope to give a good competition to the opposing team. Well, she says she has practiced very well together with her team and she's ready to give a good competition. We'll see whether the words pay off when the game progresses. Do you like to ask the boys? Yes, indeed. So from St. Thomas's College, we have the captain here, Ruchinta. How has your preparation been different than the last time? We too work hard. Then let's see. All right, let's see, let's see indeed. Uh, so let's see now who our judges are. Who are our judges, Joel? Well, before that, Prishma, it was a very simple answer. Let's I see. I don't want to predict anything. Things could go this way or that way. Let's see, let's play it balanced and smooth. Very well said, boys. Very well said. Okay, right, just like you said, it's time for us to move on and find out who our elite panel of judges are because it's level two, which means the competition is even tough. So let's get our panel of judges introduced. First up on the panel is Ishani Betha Singer, Assistant Director of Education, National Schools Branch, Ministry of Education. <laughs> the also joining on the panel is KGC Maheshika, Assistant Director of Education, National School Branch, Ministry of Education. <laughs> well, we got to know the preparation of uh, both teams. Well, both teams seem to be very confident and they also said, let's wait and see what happens. And we got our judges introduced and now it's time for us to see what the decider is. And there you go, this is the decider. So let's start off things with this. How do we get, get about this whole yes, thing? Yes, indeed. Tossing off the coin is how we always start off our matches. And to do the honours of that, we'd invite both the captains to join us up front and centre and invite one of the judges to join us in overseeing the toss as well. Well, we got the captains on stage. Kitmi and Ruchinta is ready to see whether they will lead their team or whether their team will follow in each of the rounds. Okay, so shall we start off with the boys for a change? Okay. <laughs> or you want to go first? Oh, I'll let them go first. You seem to be a little sad. Oh, not really. Not really, no? Okay, so you'll be going first and what are you going to select? Is it going to be TV1 or Pentathlon? TV1. TV1 it is. So which means we'll be going with? Pentathlon. There you go. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Turning, 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 and it is. It starts with P. What does that mean? Pentathlon. It's pentathlon, which means it's on the favoring side of the girls. And are you going to follow? Are you going to lead? I'm going to follow. You're going to follow, which means the boys will have to go first in each of the matches. Yes. Okay, so that's their decision. Let's. Are you? Are you? Are you accepting yeah. it? Yeah. Are you going to go first? Yeah. We expect that. 
they were expecting it and now they have accepted the challenge. Okay, right. So shake hands and let's start things off. Well, there you go. That's how the toss went about. The girls won the toss, however, decided that the boys lead in each and every match, which means the girls will follow. Well, that's how the things went about in the toss. So why should we wait? Let's start off with our round one and see how the schools take part in each of these rounds. Well, we call it round one and it is Balance. Your quiz. In our first round, each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players. And these players each have a challenge before them, which is to answer five questions within a span of 30 seconds. Each correct answer will give them five points. They have to answer all the questions while balancing a table tennis ball on a table tennis bat. And if they do drop the ball even once, they will be disqualified from taking on further questions. Well, those are the rules and regulations. So let us start off with the boys from St. Thomas's College and ask Rujinta, the captain, who his three co-players are. Anupuma, Nadija and Tevindu. And who will be coming in first? Uh, Nadija will come first. Come forward. Let's put our hands together. Well, we have Nadija from St. Thomas's. Let's see how well he is going to take part in this. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, so you know how it works. You are very familiar with this. And your time starts in three. Two, one, go. Who wrote the sci-fi novel, War of the Worlds? Uh, pass. It's H.G. Wells. John F. Kennedy International Airport is located in which city? Uh, California. Wrong, New York. In 1852, who first invented an electric lift with brakes? Uh, pass. It's Elisha Otis. Name the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Uh, little boy. Correct. Tennis champion Karel Bosniaki is a native of which country? Denmark. Denmark is correct. Your questions are up. Okay, so let's shift to the girls and ask uh, Kitmi, the captain, who her three co-players are for this round. Uh, it will be Damisha, Yashoda and Darani. And who will be coming in first? Damisha will be coming. Let's put our hands together. Starting off first from the girls is Damisha and let's see how well she's able to take part in this. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay, here you go. You've got 30 seconds to deal with and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Who wrote the sci-fi novel 1984? Pass. It's George Orwell. Leonardo da Vinci International Airport is located in which city? Florence. Wrong, it's Rome. In 1835, who first invented a pistol or, or a revolver? Pass. It's Samuel Colt. Name the atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki. Fatman. Correct. Tennis champion Angelic Kerber is a native of which country? France. Wrong, it's Germany. The questions are up. Well, it's time for St. Thomas's College to find out and see how well they take part. Who is coming in? Anbuma. Come forward. Anupam, are you ready? Yes. Okay, here you go. 30 seconds, just the usual, and your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. In which year did Indonesia gain independence? 1945. Correct. Who was the man of the match in the finals of the 2011 Cricket World Cup? Pass. It's MS Dhoni. What is the capital of Sudan? Pass. It's Khartoum. Who is considered the father of nuclear chemistry? Pass. It's Otto Hahn. How many members were there in the pop group Beatles? Four. Correct. The questions are up. Well, the boys seem to be doing uh, fine thus far. Let's see whether the girls are able to catch up. And let's ask Kitmi who is coming in next. We'll be coming next. Come forward. Let's put our hands together. Well, we have Yasoda ready to take up the challenge. Are you ready for it? Yes. Here you go. You've got 30 seconds and your time starts in... Three, two, one, go. In which year did Israel gain independence? 1949. Wrong, 1948. Who was the man of the match in the final of the 2015 Cricket World Cup? Emma Stone. Wrong, it's James Faulkner. What is the capital of Uzbekistan? Tashkent. Correct. In 1891, who first invented artificial rubber? Uh, pass. It's William Tilden. Who was the lead singer of the pop group Beatles? Your time is up. The 
Brick Council's John Lynch. Let's quickly move on to the boys and find out who's coming in next. Thank you. Come forward. Well, we have Tevindu. Let's see how well he's able to take up the challenge. You ready? Yes. Okay, very confident. You've got 30 seconds in 3, 2, 1, start. Who wrote the sci-fi novel Invisible Man? Awesome. It's H.G. Wells. Which country first issued paper currency? Japan. Wrong, China. Who is known as the father of modern computer science? Awesome. It's Alan Turing. Sprinter Shelley Ann Fraser is a native of which country? Wrong, it's Jamaica. What is the smallest continent on Earth? Australia. Correct. Your questions are out. Okay, it's time for us to move on to uh, the girls from Kendi. Who is coming in? Darani will be coming. Let's put our hands together. Are you ready? Yeah. We're the final player. Okay, let's see whether the final player is able to make the change. Here you go, you've got 30 seconds to deal with. And your time starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Who wrote the sci-fi novel Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Pass. It's R.L. Stevenson. Man conquered Everest for the first time in which decade? 20th decade. Wrong, it's 1950s. Who is considered the father of biology? Pass. It's Aristotle. Soccer champion Thomas Muller is a native of which country? France. Wrong, Germany. What is the longest river of United Kingdom? Your time is up. The correct answer is seven. Well, with that, we are coming to an end of round one. Well, I'm not very sure, even you might agree, that both schools were not able to give their very best in the first round. But hopefully things will progress because we are now in the quest to find out who will be getting closer to the grand finale. We'll be right back with more interesting rounds to come forward. But first, a short commercial break. Stay tuned. This is TV One Pentathlon Season 2. two. Welcome back. You are watching TV One Pentathlon Season 2 and we are back here with the results at the end of round one. We have a very interesting match between St. Thomas's College Martale as well as the girls from Pushpadana Girls College in Kandy. So let's take a look at the results. We'll start off with the girls from Pushpadana Girls College Kandy. In the first round, they have scored themselves 10 points. How have the boys fared? The boys from St. Thomas's College Martale in the first round have scored themselves 40 points. Well, there you go. That's how the points table looked like. It's a 10.40, but I'm sure it's not a very good start because we are now in level two, which means the competition is tough and intense between the top 16 schools to secure those top 16 spots. With that being said, it's time for us to see whether the schools can capitalize in the next round, which we call the second round, and it is Express to Impress. <laughs> In our second round, which is Express to Impress, it's a very creative and very fun round because each of the schools will be given a story lead which they then have to act out in front of our judges who will be marking this round. They have to showcase for us the best of their creativity, imagination, presentation as well as diction. So let's find out without further ado what the boys pick for themselves. This is their topic. Mr. Pereira was a lawyer. He loves fishing and hunting. It was a clear Saturday and he decided to spend his day fishing and hunting. He drove a long way to reach the forest and a lake was located near the forest. And then... I'm exhausted. I walked for such a long time. Finally, I can enjoy my hunting now. There's a nice lake and a help also. Hey, shall I join you? Who are you? I love fishing too. Hey, there's a deer. Look. No, no, no. There. There's a tiger. Tiger. Yes. 
I get the target. Are you? Okay, I got the target. Got the target. Jump. Damn. Missed. Yes, missed. What to do now? Ah, uh, I get another target. Hey, that's illegal. Illegal? You two have a gun. How you get? How you do that? According to Sixth Act in the Twenty Fifth Chapter, hunting is illegal. <laughs> Sixth Chapter. <laughs> Who are uh, you? Who am I? I am a lawyer. Hunting <laughs> lawyer. Such what a joke. are you talking? I hunt only small animals. Small? Uh, small? small. Does it matter? Small animals? Large animals? The Does word small matter? is specified. Specified. Yeah. Maybe it's slow. Maybe it's slow. Yeah. <laughs> hey, besides, 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 the Brahman is coming. Calm down, calm down. You have all done a sin. It doesn't matter if the animal is big or small. You shouldn't take their lives to your hands. But think, think about us. About us, our life. Our, our meal is that. Our way of living is hunting. Yeah. Then you should take another way. Another way. Please think about us. He is another. He is a lawyer. I do it for pleasure. Okay. Pleasure. So what the pleasure is that? Pleasure. Oh, I pleasure. am a busy person, so I must take a pleasure. Okay. Well, you saw it for yourself. That is how the boys from St. Thomas's College, Martale, put up their act. With an allocated two minutes, well, I think the judges need to give the marks out because we have no say when it comes to this round. But yet, the competition lies to find out whether the results are equal or not because the girls have yet not displayed what their talents are on this round. So let's find out what they pick out, what their story lead is. Once a ship was anchored off the coast of Africa. The weather was pleasant in the morning, but a hot breeze from the Sahara Desert made it extremely hot and humid towards the evening. Just before sunset, the captain came on deck and called out, time for a swim. And then... Well, it's time for us to go beyond the shores of Sri Lanka and see how very well the girls from the Central Hills display their talents between the allocated two minutes. Girls, are you ready? Yes. Yes, they are ready with all smiles on their faces. Let's see whether they're able to capitalize on the opportunity. So they got two minutes and your time starts right about now. Hey, lads. It's time for you for going swimming, swimming, swimming. Yeah, Captain, all right, yes, yes. In the morning? Yeah, he yeah. didn't let us to go, go and swim. What now? It's night. And he's telling us to go to swimming now. Don't worry, guys. Who's going first? You are the hero, no? So you should go first. Yeah, I'm the hero. I know that I'm the hero. Hey, you, you people can do what I do. But you know, I just have a headache and back pain. So I think someone else should go, you know, if I... If, I, if something happens to me, oh, I understand. Just go away, go away, go away. Because I'm intelligent, I think I'm the best man to see this. Oh my god, it's like, uh, I know you have to think about your protection, right? Pirates are going here and there. I think it's not my day. So, you'd better try. The environment is so dark. See? See, there are sharks. Oh, I can't. Why? I? Why me? Why aren't you going? Me? Yeah. You? Me? You go now. I can't go. Okay then. As philosophers said, life will end in one day. Yes, yes, I understand. Because of that, I'm going to take this risk. Yes. Mm, Please. I'll yes. jump to the sea first, but not today. Oh God! But someone has to jump what? now. What are we gonna do, guys? Come in. Captain. 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 Oh. Captain. Why? What? Why? As you're a leader, Captain. Come. Yes, I'm the leader. I think we should follow you always, Captain. Yes, you we always me. go after you. So, as philosopher said, no. you should no. go no. first. No.
because we can see the judges working on the scores, which means it's going to be a difficult marking for them as well. But I think it's time for us to find out from the judges what the scores are like for round two. Actually, we consider about time management and presentation skills. It was highlighted weaknesses of both teams. Uh, here we consider other criteria also to grant uh, marks. Accordingly, St. Thomas's College Matale gets 50 marks. Pushpadana Girls College also gets 50 marks. Well, it seems like it was a tough decision for the judges to award the points to both schools and that's how it has ended in a tie of 50 all at the end of uh, the second round. Well, we need to see how the total scores look like at the first and the second. Let's take a look at the points. Well, at the end of two rounds, we have Pushpadana Girls College Candy with 60 points. Meanwhile, the boys from St. Thomas's College, Matale, have scored themselves 90 points. So boys and girls, you all have to work really hard as we progress in the rounds because the rounds now are very competitive and tough. Okay, well this is not a statement to discourage you but to encourage you because a little bit of pressure sometimes gets going in certain circumstances. With that being said, it's time for us to walk a bit, jump a bit and also exercise our brains more and more as we have a lot of empty spaces to fill in. We call it the third round and it is called Word the Basket. In this round, each of our teams gets to send forward three co-players. They are given a word that is 12 alphabets long with several of the letters locked. In order for them to unlock the letter, they have to successfully net the ball into the basket. Each successful netting gives them 10 points and if they are then able to correctly guess the word, they are given a further 70 points. Well, there you go. Those are the rules and regulations of round three, which we call Word the Basket. And to start off things, let's move on to the boys and see which number they pick out to discover what the word is. This is word number five. Well, the boys from St. Thomas's College have picked out word number five. Well, before we see what the word is, it's time for us to find out from Rushinta who his three co-players are for this round. Let's find out. Anupama, Shamod and Meister. Let's see what word number five is all about. So we have a blank at the start. E, two spaces R, two spaces S, two spaces S and another space at the end. Ruchinta who will be coming in first and what is that letter he would like unlocked? Chamot will come for the letter of T. Okay, come forward. Let's put our hands together. Three, two, one, start. Well, that was a successful basket to start off things with. Let's move on to the next player. Ruchinta, who's going to be the Anupama next player? Will and come for the Anupama. Will Anupama come for, for which blank? First blank. Okay, come forward. Okay, three, two, one, go. Well, that was not a successful attempt, but let's see how the next player fares in this. Ruchinta, who's going to be your next player, and what is the letter? Letter after R. Letter after R. And the captain steps forward. Let's put our hands together. Three, two, one, go for it. The captain was able to get a successful basket. Well, three players down. Are you going to send in additional players or are you going to decide what the word is? Uh, we'll, we'll call him for another player. We are going to send in an additional player and who is that player going to be? And David what will is come. the letter? Uh, letter of 10. Okay, come forward. Three, two, one, go for it. No 
note that sending additional players and if that is unsuccessful, it is minus points for the team. Well, are you going to send in your final player or are you going to decide what the word is? Are you going to decide what the word is, Captain? We will call for another player. You are going to last send in player. the last player as well. And what is that letter you would like unlocked? A uh, letter between O and S. Okay, come forward, the final player. Three, two, one, go. Well, the final player sent in by the captain was also not able to score that basket, which means they already have minus points on this round. Let's see whether they're able to guess the word. Captain, you're down to deciding what the word is. Two successful attempts, three unsuccessful attempts, and they have three empty spaces and three locked spaces. Well, I believe it's time for me to start the countdown. Five, four, three. Have you able to decide what the word is? Two. Minus points already. Are you going to decide what the word is? One. St. Thomas's College. The time is up. Boys, take a good look what the word is. Are you ready for it? Let's see what the word is. Okay, that's how the game moves on. But don't, don't, don't put those sad faces. Y'all are from the Central Hills, all active and energetic. We never know how the girls fare in this. Girls, are you all smiling? No, not really. Not really. <laughs> now the pressure builds up to see what happens. So to start off things, we need to see what number you pick out. Word number one. Well, kid me from Pushpadana Girls College picked out word number one. Before we find out what word number one is, let's ask the captain. Who are your three co-players? Um, it will be Dharani, Damisha and Yashoda. Okay, let's find out what the word is. You have a space to start off with. I, two spaces, N, two spaces, another N, two spaces, A and a space at the end. Well, give me who are you going to send in first and what is that letter you would like unlocked? Yashoda will be coming first um, for the blank. The blank? Of type. Okay, let's see how it goes. Let's put our hands together. Three, two, one, go for it. Well, not a good start for the girls, but let's see how it works out. Who is coming in next and what is that letter? She would like to unlock. Damisha will be coming for the first blank. For the first blank. That's before I. Okay, come forward. Let's put our hands together. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Kitmi, who will you be sending in next and what is that letter she would like to unlock? Dharani will be coming for the letter before the first N. The letter before the first N. The space before the first N. Okay, come forward. Let's put our hands together. Three, two, one, go. Well, that was an unsuccessful attempt for the girls. Are you going to send in additional players or are you going to decide what the word um, is? Yeah, we're going to send the fourth player. Okay. I'll be coming um, for the letter after the first ten. Okay, captain steps forward. Let's put our hands together. Let's see how it goes. Three, two, one, go for it. Well, the captain too was not able to get the basket right. Are you going to send in your final player or are you going to decide what the word is? Yeah, we're going to send the final player. Okay. Uh, Netni will be coming. For the? For the letter before the second end. Okay, the final player. Let's see how well it goes. Three, two, one, go. Okay. 
the girls were not able to score through baskets. However, only one successful attempt. It's down for me to get the count down. Okay, quickly tell us what the word is. The word is by convention. Can you spell it out? P I C O N V E N T I A L. By convention. By? By convention. Shinnel. By convention. No, by convention. Shell. New word, old word, I'm not very sure. Heard of it? No? Heard of it? Might be. Maybe we create history. Let's see. Already you have minus points because you're sending additional players. Only one successful attempt. That does not count because you did not guess what the word is. Okay, so I believe both schools are on equal grounds. They were not able to guess what the word is, but we need to find out what the results are and we'll also have the excitement as it builds on. Stay tuned, you are watching TV1 Pentathlon and this is Level 2. We'll be right back after this short break. Hello and welcome back. You're watching TV1 Pentathlon Season 2 and we are here at the end of three very, very interesting rounds between the two schools in the match today which is St. Thomas's College Matale as well as Pushpadana Girls College from Kandy. Let's find out what the results are at the end of round three. We start off with the scores for the girls' school. Pushpadana Girls College Kandy in the third round unfortunately scored themselves minus 10 and that makes their score 50 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, we now move to the boys from St. Thomas's College Matale. Similar bad news there, they scored themselves zero points and that makes their score remain at 90 points. Well, even after the end of three rounds, neither of the schools have yet not been able to surpass the 100 mark because both schools were not able to guess what the word was. However, they got two more rounds to see whether fate will befall on them if they're able to progress. Well, things are tensed up here in this game, but let's build up hope. Let's put on some smiling faces. Yes, both schools, captains, tensed up. Smile. Everything will be all right. Okay, right. So, without much further ado, let's move on to our fourth round, which we call Target. Your knowledge. We have a little mini golf patch that has been organized inside the studio, and each of our players gets an opportunity to swing the golf club and send the golf ball into any one of the holes. And these holes represent a subject from which they will then be asked a question. Each correct answer will give them 25 points. If they choose to double an answer correctly, they will get 50 points. But if they choose to double an answer incorrectly, that will result in negative marking. Well, you heard the rules and regulations of round four. Well, there's a little bit of twist, just like Krishma said, but the colors represent the same. So just let me take you through the colors. Well, on sports and games, we have blue. Then on green, it is geography. Purple is for literature. Yellow is for art and entertainment. Orange is for history, red is for science and technology and of course we have the trump which is white where you could select any of those subjects which I just mentioned. With that being said, it's time for us now to find out from the boys as to who their co-players are for this round. So let's start off with uh, the boys from St. Thomas's College and ask the captain Ruchinta who his three co-players are. Tevindu, Nadija and myself. And who is coming in first? Tevindu will come first. Come forward. You ready? Okay, three, 
two, one, go. Well, it was a slow ball. You got two more chances. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Well, they got purple, which is literature. So let's take a look. You've got literature? Would you like to go into the doubles? No. No. Okay, let's take a look at your movement. French writer went into exile in France in 1975 and his most famous famous works include The Joke and The Unbearable Likeness of Being. Name him. Your options are A. Yaroslav Hasek B. Milan Kundera C. Sandor Marai or D. Miklos Bamfi uh, B. Milan Kundera B. Milan Kundera. Have you read his books? No? You've heard of him before? All right. You say that the answer is B. Milan Kundera. That is the correct answer. Well, the boys were able to capitalize on their very first attempt. Let's see if the girls do it the same as well. And let's focus our attention to Pushpadana and ask the captain who her three core players are for this round. Um, it will be Netmi, uh, Yashoda and myself. And who is coming in first? Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Well, that was an easy shot for the girls. It was a trump, which means they have the liberty to select any of the following subjects which I just mentioned at the start of the round. So let's see what they pick out. We are going to choose geography and we are going to double. Okay, you've chosen geography, you've decided to double. Let's take a look at your wishes. Identify the country highlighted on the map. Your options are A. El Salvador B. Nicaragua C. Guatemala or D. Honduras The answer is C, Gautamala. C, Gautamala. How sure are you about this? It's correct. You hope it's correct. This is a question for a double. You better not be hoping. If it's the incorrect answer, you know you get minus 15 points. You've said that the answer is C, Gautamala. The correct answer. It's C, Gautamala, that's a double! Well, there you go, there's some excitement building up in the game right now because the girls did a very smart move by going on to a double. When you get the trump, that's what you do. You get the double and you go with your preferred subject. So that worked off very well. Hats off to the girls. Let's see if the boys are able to capitalize on the same. Let's move on to the boys. Who is coming in next? Nadija will come. Come on. Three, two, one, go. That was a slow ball. There you go. Three, two, one, go. Too fast. Let's see if an average one works. Your last chance. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> two unsuccessful attempts. The final one was well played off and they got a trump. Let's see what the boys select. What subject do you all select? Geography. Geography. You've got geography and would you like to go in for a double? No, no thanks. All right, let's take a look at your visual. Identify the country highlighted on the map. Your options are A. Kyrgyzstan B. Uzbekistan 
C. Tajikistan or D. Kazakhstan? Your time is ticking. You have three seconds more. Three, two, D. 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 Kazakhstan. You've already answered D. I can't change that. D. Kazakhstan. The correct answer is A. Kyrgyzstan. That is the incorrect answer. Well, the boys were not able to get that point for their school. Let's move on to the girls and see whether they will follow with the trend. Who is coming in? Come forward. Three, two, one, go. Where well, they got purple, which is literature. Let's take a look. Literature is the topic you've got. Let's take a look at your issue. Name the Spanish poet, playwright, and theatre director who was famous for plays Yerma and The House of Bernarda Alba. Your options are A. Ricardo Lopez Aranda B. Gael Garcia Bernal C. Carlos Fernandez Shaw or D. Federico Garcia Lorca D. The answer is D. The answer is D. Federico Garcia Lorca. Are you sure about this? Have you read his plays? Have you heard about him before? All right, okay, so you have said that the answer is D, Federico Garcia Lorca. The correct answer is D. Well, the girls seem to be going really well in this round. And we could also expect a drastic change in the points table. But let's see how the boys capitalize on the final opportunity. Who are you sending forward? The captain steps forward. Let's put our hands together. Three, two, one, go. Unsuccessful attempt. You got two more. Let's see how this goes. Three, two, one, go. Your final chance. Make use of it. Three, two, one, go. Well, for all of you to know, if you're just wondering why I'll be giving another chance for St. Thomas's College, because they got purple before, which is literature the subject, so it's time for us to give them another chance, because they already got that, they got to select another color and not that. Let's see how well they capitalize on this. In three, two, one, go. Well, it was an unfortunate situation for the boys from St. Thomas's College. Well, that's how the game is set with the rules and regulations. Let's move on to the final position of the girls and see how will they capitalize on it. Um, Matthew will be coming next. Come for me. Three, two, one, go. Successful. There you go. We've got two more chances. Three, two, one, go. Unsuccessful attempt. Your final chance. Three, two, one, go. Well, it seems that the girls too had to undergo a similar situation. However, in their turn, it was a disqualification. Let's see how the points look at the end of four rounds.
Let's find out what the scores are at the end of four rounds. We start off with the boys from St. Thomas's College, Martale. In the fourth round, they have scored themselves 25 points and that brings their score up to 115 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls from Pushpadana Girls College, Kandy, in the fourth round have scored themselves 75 points and that brings their total up to 125 points. Without much further ado, let's move on to the fifth and final round, which is called the buzzer round. And now in the final round, the buzzer round, the rules are very simple. We have 10 questions. Each correct answer gives the team 10 points. Let's get started with question number one. Name the first Prime Minister of Britain. Robert Walpole. That's the correct answer. Question number two. The intercontinental ballistic missiles tested by India Agni 5 are known by which name? The correct answer is Agni. That's the correct answer. Question number three. Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia was made up of how many socialist republics? Time up. The correct answer is six. We move on to question number four. Name the only batting pair to have bat two complete days together in a test match. Time up. The correct answer is Sana Jayasurya and Roshan Mahanama. We move on to question number five. With over three trillion dollars in foreign currency reserves, which country has the highest amount of forex in the world? Time's up. The correct answer is China. We move on to question number six. Name the first female president of India. Time's up. The correct answer is Pratibha Patil. Question number seven. How many films have won Best Actor, Actress, Writer, Director and Picture Oscars? Nadija? Three. In history, the correct answer is three. We move on now to question number eight. Who was the architect of the Suez Canal? Time's up. The correct answer is Ferdinand de Lesseps. Question number nine. Who founded the social network Twitter? Yashoda? Jack Dorsey. That's the correct answer. We're now on the final question of the final round. This is question number 10. How many national anthems are played? Danisha? Four. How many national anthems are played during a closing ceremony of the Olympic Games? The correct answer is four. see how the results are because was it a lifesaver for one school or was it like a death trap for one school we all need to bring all of that action to you and also a special title but first we'll have a very short breather with all the results stay tuned keep locked because you have some amazing news as we come back this is tv1 pentathlon season two <laughs> Hello girl, welcome back. You are watching level 2 of TV1 Pentathlon season 2. Well, just before going on to a break, we told you that we'll have the final results. 
and much more excitement as we come back. And here we are to first and foremost reveal to you who the pentathlete is of this match. Well, it's over to the judges to read out the result. Let's find out. Pentathlete of the day goes to Damisha from Pushpadana Girls College. Thank you very much to our judges for reading out that result of the pentathlete. And also congratulations to Damisha from Pushpadana for bagging the title of pentathlete of this match. Well, things have now come down to ground level where we need to read out to you the final scores, which is the decider to see who will be moving on closer and closer to the grand finale. I think it's time for us to break the ice and read out the final scores. In the fifth round, we start off with the scores of St. Thomas's College, Matale. They scored themselves 20 points and that brings their final score to 135 points. <laughs> Meanwhile, the girls from Pushpadana Girls College, Candy, in the final round, they scored themselves 30 points and that brings them to the winning total today, 155 points. Well, it's time for all the hard work to pay off and it's time for us to move on to the presentation. And for that, well, it's now time for the presentation of the certificates and maybe now invite both the judges to join us as we present St. Thomas's College Mathale with their participation certificates. To start off with the presentation, first and foremost, let's all put our hands together for the pentathlete of the match all the way from the Central Hills. From Candy, it's Damisha from Pushpada. Congratulations to Damisha. And Trishma, let's move on with the presentation. Yes, let's give a huge round of applause to the boys from St. Thomas's College, Makale. <laughs> and also congratulations once again to the girls from Pushpadana. We'll be seeing you all again, so smile a bit. Okay, right, so we'll be seeing those smiling faces again. But we cannot also forget the efforts put in by our elite panel of judges for making this event a success. And also the audience from both schools and the staff for joining with us. Thank you very much. You are a lovely audience and I'm sure everyone watching us must be now enriched with more knowledge. Because this is a stage where we generate knowledge for those who want knowledge and for those who seek knowledge. This is TV1 Pentathlon Season 2.